at Disney Springs getting ready to go eat where, hubby? Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. Oh. Right there. <laughs> We're pretty excited. I'm really excited and I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything all morning. I've looked at the menu and I don't know what I'm going to get to eat. So there's probably going to be uh, a lot of uh, things on our table. So. <laughs> a lot of things on our table, including moonshine. And including moonshine. Yeah, I got and my moonshine shirt. Moonshine shirt. I am super excited to try that moonshine cake. What about you, honey? Well, anything with moonshine in it is for me. All right, so let's get going. Let's go. Everything looks really good here, but I'm really excited about the moonshine. They actually have shine on tap here. Shine on tap. <laughs> and they have a flight too, so I don't know what we're gonna do here. So this should be interesting. Are we gonna be able to walk out of here? <laughs> there are all kinds of really yummy, good southern home cooked classics on here. So you've got your cheddar drop biscuits, you've got your cheesy grits, you've got your creamy mashed potatoes, you've got your fried chicken. I mean, what are you supposed to eat? I think I'm gonna have to go with the country fried steak. Uh, that's, that's what sounds really good to me. It's either between that or the catfish sandwich. But I think, I think, I think I'm gonna have to do the, the country fried steak. Yeah, final answer. with the moonshine flight. So I'm gonna start off with the strawberry lemonade punch. Now these are all their popular uh, moonshine punches that they have here on tap. So here we go. Cheers. This is super refreshing for this really hot day here at Disney Springs. Uh, I love this little strawberry garnish that they put in there. Very refreshing. You can taste the lemonade in there, but the strawberry is a little bit more overpowering. So this is the margarita moonshine punch. So it's supposed to taste kind of like a margarita. Here we go. You can definitely taste the tequila in there. Really good, again, super refreshing. Um, it's a win. This one is the blue hooch. It's their strongest punch on tap. Taste the lime in there. It's got lime, blue curacao. Really good again. I mean, these are all a win so far. And what's not to love about drinking a little bit of moonshine? This is a sweet tea moonshine. Cheers. Very, very good. If you love sweet tea, I'd recommend this one. Their sweet tea alone here at Art Smith's is really good. Put that together with some moonshine, a little bit of lemon, and you've got yourself a winner. So on to the last one, the rum shine punch. This is the one I really am curious to, to try. So here we go, cheers. Mm. Oh, that's good. This is one for the win with me. I don't know, I think this is my favorite, and then this would be my second favorite. You can really taste the punch in there, and then of course the moonshine. So really light and refreshing too, it's not heavy at all. Sorry, heavy, I don't know if you're gonna be able to try this one. <laughs> I'm gonna go the same order that wifey did. She's already tried it, so uh, yeah, strawberry time. That's really good. Definitely taste strawberry. We have the margarita that's got moonshine and tequila. Oh yeah. Yeah, you definitely it definitely tastes like a margarita. You know, I'm gonna save the blue hooch for last because that's actually the most uh, potent one. So let's go to the rum shine punch next. This is Wifey's favorite. That's good. That's good. It's got definitely a berry flavor. Yeah. And that's got the sweet tea. I'm not a huge sweet tea person, but it's still really good. And this one, I'm gonna take a little flour out of here. Yeah, that's 
what I thought. For me, the blue hooch. It's the most potent one. I love the flavors on it. Yep, that's my winner. That's my winner right there. For me, these are my my two favorites right here. This one is awesome. Blue hooch. I'm just gonna hold on to it. So these are the church lady devil eggs. Super excited about these. But first things first, we need to get rid of the bacon. I'll take your No bacon. <laughs> I know, I know. A lot of you are probably rolling your eyes at me right now. It is super light and fluffy that that filling in there is just amazing. It has a little hint of lemon to it, which is really nice, but overall, a winner. All right, it's my turn. Well, Wifey did this so much like more like eloquent than me, but I'm just gonna do this. This is really good. Probably some of the best deviled eggs I've ever had, except for yours, Mom. Mom, your, your deviled eggs will never be beat, or your meatloaf. I'm a really happy girl right now, because this plate looks absolutely over the top incredible. Okay, I've got cheesy grits here. I can't wait to stick my fork in there and dig into those. What Chef Art Smith is actually known for, their fried chicken. So very exciting. And of course, it's kind of like breakfast lunch for us. So I had to get the donuts. All right, here we go. Let's start with these cheesy grits. Oh my gosh, look at this cheese. I mean, there's just like a thick layer of gooey, gooey, yummy cheese. And these creamy grits. All right. I'm just gonna go for it. They look really hot. <laughs> Careful. No shame. I'm sure there's probably a pound or two of butter in there, but <laughs> they are so good. These are my favorite cheesy grits. All right, let's cut into this chicken. Look at how perfectly golden brown and crispy this chicken is. All right, let's cut right into that. You can see how juicy it is in there. Perfectly fried. They actually marinate it or brine it for 24 hours. This chicken is something. This is just southern food bliss right here, okay? I mean, you can see it's smoking hot, but it's really juicy and that fried coating that they put on there is just absolutely perfection. Mm. I'm just gonna go for it with the donut. So it looks like we have some maple syrup here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dunk it right in there. And here we go. This is a winner right here. Travel and foodie warrior approved. Yes, winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, so I've got the uh, country fried steak, mashed potatoes, and mac and cheese. Normally it comes with green beans, but if I'm going this unhealthy, uh, I might as well go all in. I'll start with the potatoes. The potatoes are awesome. Nice and buttery. Oh, man, I just want to keep eating those. I guess we'll start with the other side. Go the mac and cheese. If you can't tell by the video, there's a lot of cheese. Again, delicious. Very, very good. Very rich. If you're a fan of mac and cheese, you're gonna love this. All right, let's go for the steak now. Wow, I didn't even cut it, and it's already falling apart. It's got like a gravy on it. You know what, I don't even think I need the knife, honestly. This reminds me of the country fried steak that my grandmother used to make. I mean, this is this is awesome. My gravy. This is definitely comfort food heaven. 
right here. So with all of this fried food and buttery, cheesy food, we had to be just a little bit healthy here. So we did get the kale and collards. Let's see how these babies are. Mm. Oh, they've got a kick to them. I'm having deja vu to our hot chicken day when the kick came about a minute later. <laughs> I can kind of feel it in my throat now. Very good, but... Okay, hold on. I need a little moonshine. Nothing that moonshine can't cure. Pretty stuffed. I just had an amazing meal here, and now I'm gonna try their number one dessert here. It's the hummingbird cake. So it looks really nice and moist. All right, here we go. It's light and fluffy, but it has a little bit of denseness. That icing melts in your mouth, and this filling is really, really, really good. So. This is definitely a winner. Let me put a little ice cream on this. That is really, really, really good. It's mine, hubby. So this is a moonshine cake. It's a lemon poppy seed cake with a blueberry compote, and again, you get ice cream with it. This one's definitely a little bit more sweet. You have to be 21 and up to get this because of the moonshine. You just barely made it. Barely. This is really good. So this one's a little bit more moist, but that blueberry compote with it and that ice cream, it's just really delicious. I really love the moonshine cake. This is really good. Um, I love sweet things. I love desserts. And this one's a little bit more sweet than that. Um, and I think it's a little bit more moist than the hummingbird cake. So this one's a win for me, especially with that blueberry compote. Now it's my turn to partake in the dessert festivities. Start off with the hummingbird cake. I'm gonna try this frosting first since Wifey said it was good. You're gonna laugh, but the first thing I thought of when I tasted it was sunscreen, but in a good way. Wow, man, I didn't think I was gonna like this as much. That's got a really, really good flavor to it. It's kind of like a pina colada, but I also feel like there's bananas in it. That's solid. There's, there's a reason this is probably their number one seller. Pass over the moonshine. So at first glance, Reminds me of a shape of a rum cake that Wifey makes, which is my favorite dessert on the planet. It's got a lot to live up to. Oh man. That is a very, very alcoholic cake. <laughs> like if it was your birthday, it's, it's, it's got so much alcohol in it that they probably would not put a candle in it for fear of a fire. I didn't taste the alcohol in it. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't believe that. You know, both of them are delicious. I would say you know I love moonshine, wifey loves moonshine. It's gonna be hard to beat a cake. It's full of moonshine. Come on, keep it. Hey, no, mine. I will stab your thumb with a spork. We just finished an incredible meal here at Artsmith Homecoming. So I'm gonna show you the outside now. We actually ate inside because it's 100 degrees here at Disney Springs. When it's cooler, you can come out here outside. They also have an outdoor bar where you can grab and go with some moonshine punch. Uh, but here we go, I'm gonna show you. So as you walk in, shine bar and social. These are the different punches that you can get such a cool little place to hang out, especially when there's nicer weather outside. And here's the bar inside. Kind of nice to hang out and just grab a little bit of a moonshine punch here. Well, we just finished an amazing meal at Artsmith Homecoming. I don't know how I'm actually walking straight, hubby. I, if you look over here, <laughs> I'm actually holding on to the handrail. Oh my gosh. We have a 
massive amount of to go. Well, what food we left finish, over. There's cake in there. There's <laughs> mac and cheese, grits, chicken. I mean, there's a whole bunch donuts. of donuts. Donuts. Art Smith's was amazing. My first time there. The staff was awesome. The food was excellent. If you love comfort food, this is this is your place. Yes, this is your for place. sure. They have some incredible southern comfort food here. If you're in Florida, if you're at Disney Springs, definitely check out Artsmith Homecoming. Their food is absolutely incredible. I am full. <laughs> I need to find a hotel room with air conditioning to lay down in. I'm, I'm out of here. Food coma. It's time for food coma now food after coma. all that food. It's, now it's time for recovery. She's deep in concentration. Look at that. Look at that face. Oh, she heard me. She is making sure that the camera eats first. 